What's going on friends? If you're new to the channel, my name's Evan and I'm an online reseller. That means I go to places like garage sales and thrift stores to find stuff to sell online for a profit. Now, if you're new to reselling or even really, if you've been around for a while, you know that one of the biggest obstacles to reselling is knowledge. Knowing what to buy and more specifically, what's valuable. When you go to a thrift store or a yard sale, you're faced with thousands of items and knowing what to pick up is a huge key to success. Basically, knowledge is power. But how do you gain that knowledge? Obviously, there's countless YouTube videos about the subject and you can even watch what other people have already picked up and sold. I know a guy that does one of those videos every Tuesday and you should probably go check him out. But you can also learn on your own. Sometimes I just like to dive right into eBay and end up in a rabbit hole chasing knowledge and learning what stuff sells. I went on one of these little rabbit hole trips this past week and came up with some common looking items that sell for great money unsuspecting items that you can definitely find while you're out and about. So stay tuned, make it a little weird, but I promise you're gonna learn something or your money back. So as I said, I wound up in a rabbit hole on eBay a few days ago, and it all started in kind of a weird way. I was actually cleaning house, I'm basically straightening up at the end of the day. Well, of course, seeing as I have two young kids, there were cups everywhere. I'm pretty sure they drink one sip out of a cup and get a new one. There are even cups in places you wouldn't think. But what got me thinking was that all of them were Tervis. We obviously love Tervis. They're insulated, they don't sweat, so no water rings, and you can put a lid on them. They're perfect for kids. And that got me thinking. I wonder if there are Tervis collectors, like are there valuable Tervis that I should be on the lookout for? So I jumped right into eBay. I started with just a basic search, Tervis. Then I wanted to see only sold items, so I clicked on that. And then because I want to see the valuable stuff, I sort by highest price. Of course, there's some one-offs that are selling for really good money, mostly golf course ones, but I start to notice a trend. Check out these ones with the glitter confetti. It looks like they're selling frequently and for a great price. So now these unassuming cups that would get lost on a thrift store shelf are permanently implanted in my brain. This is how I learned. I mean, seriously, two plastic cups that are filled with glitter and they sell for $62.99 plus shipping, these are the common things that you definitely need to be on the lookout for. And now that you've seen it, you'll never forget it. But that's not all. Now I'm excited. I learned some new valuable information and I'm thinking, what else is there? So I start looking around the house again and I notice book bags or backpacks if you prefer. Each kid has one, my wife has one for work and I have one that I keep my laptop in. And of course, they're not where they're supposed to be, but that's not the point. I'm thinking I should look these up too. So I do. Once again, looking at what I already sold and sorting by highest price, I'm looking at backpacks. Of course, you get results for high-end brands like Chanel and Louis Vuitton that sell for thousands, but what about the common brands, like the ones we have? Are they worth anything? Well, let's try Jansport. Looks like some of the newer stuff is actually worth a good bit of money, but I'll probably never find one of those at a yard sale. But look at these vintage ones. Let's search that. Jansport, made in the USA, vintage backpacks, anywhere from $125 on down. And they're plain and simple backpacks with leather bottoms. Now let's try East Pack because that's what I had when I was in school. Looks like they're not quite as valuable, but if you found them at a yard sale for a few bucks, I think they'd be worth picking up. I do want to point out this one though. It sold at auction for $167.75. And after digging a little deeper, I know why. This is the same backpack that Michael J. Fox had in Back to the Future, so I'm sure some cosplayer snatched it up to complete their outfit. So long story short, these backpacks made by Jansport and Eastpack that were made in the USA and vintage, these simple looking things, are worth good money. And because they're so simple, you're probably not going to pay a whole lot for them at a thrift store or yard sale. And now we've added something else to our memory, some valuable information that we got because my kids left them laying around the house. So now we're committed, we're in this rabbit hole, we're learning a lot of new things. It's time to get crazy. I mean, we've been from cups to book bags. What's in a book bag? What's the next logical choice? Well, how about a notebook? There's no way a notebook can be valuable, right? Well, let's find out. Okay, so it looks like I get a bunch of results for notebook computers, not what we want. Well, let's try vintage notebook. Still a bunch of computers, but Here's a KISS notebook that sold for $400. What? Let's look at that. Sure enough, if you can find a vintage KISS notebook from the 70s, you've got something. Anywhere from $50 to $400. But let's go back and see what else we can find under notebook. 
how awesome is this? There's a Blue's Clues notebook from 1998. They accepted a best offer, but let's check Blue's Clues. Sure enough, vintage Blue's Clues stuff is valuable. Looks like the handy dandy notebook goes for a couple of hundred. There's some rare plush that sells for crazy prices and even some old VHS sells for great money. That's, that's crazy, but let's go back again. Let's go back to notebooks and see what else we can find. Oh my gosh, there's a Trapper Keeper. I definitely had a Trapper Keeper when I was in school. Let's look at those. Sure enough, they're worth decent money if you can find them in good condition. Especially these colorful Lisa Frank ones. What's so special about these Lisa Frank? Let's find out. All right, these are crazy. Here's a folder, just a folder that goes in a binder that sold for $400. And these lunch bags and backpacks, crazy prices. And there, there's a lot that have sold. Wait a minute, backpack, we're back to backpacks. So we just started with notebook and now we know Lisa Frank, Trapper Keeper, Blues Clues, and Vintage Kiss. Do you, do you see how this works? I mean, it's, this is the rabbit hole, but it's a rabbit hole of knowledge. So in my opinion, this is the best way to find out about and learn new stuff to sell on eBay. You guys remember that expression, give a man to fish and he'll eat for a day, teach a man to fish and he'll eat for a lifetime? Well, I'm kind of teaching you how to fish here. I could pull up the items and just show you one by one what they sold for, but I'm showing you how to find them for yourself. And I promise that's going to stick in your brain better so that when you find them out at a yard sale or a thrift store, you're going to remember it. And if you stuck around this long, I do hope you enjoyed the video and sincerely hope you learned something. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing and we'll see you on the next one.